Hi, it's Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Let me introduce this new series called The Shortcuts. In this series, I'm going to share some very useful time savers and keyboard shortcuts with you, which I'm using on a daily basis. If you are a graphic designer, web designer, digital artist, a photo retoucher, I'm sure you will be happy to learn about these features if you haven't heard about them before because you can save a lot of time with them. And in general, it just makes it easier to work with Photoshop. Things that you do a lot of time in Photoshop can be quite time consuming sometimes. And even if you can just save a couple of seconds each time, that time saving can add up into a couple of hours in a month and maybe a couple of days in a, in a whole year. So as you can see, these things are quite important, especially for professions where deadlines are very tight. Even if you are self-employed or employed by a design company, your clients and your managers will definitely appreciate if you can save time for them. In this first video, I'm going to show you a couple of features for filling in colors. Fairly basic concept, but there are a couple of things you should know about it, how to do it quickly in Photoshop. So first of all, this design is from one of my recent projects. It's for a website called Love Social Media. Let me just select this background layer, which is a red uh, color. And let's say I want to change this to black. I have my foreground color set to black, which is the default color, and my background color set to white. You can see it here in the toolbar. If I use the keyboard shortcut to fill in with the foreground color while having this layer selected, which is Alt or Option Backspace, then it simply fills in the whole layer with black, which is my foreground color. The same way it works with the background color. If I press Command or Control Backspace, then it will fill in the layer with white. Now the great thing is that it works with vector shape layers as well and type layers as well. So I have my type layer selected here on the right in the layers panel and I'm going to press Alt or Option Backspace which will fill in the type layer with black. So it's basically changing the color of the type layer. Now just to prove my point that it also works with shape layers I'm going to use a shape I'm going to draw a perfect circle by holding down shift on the keyboard. As you can see, this is black now. But if I want to fill it with another color, instead of going on the top and change the fill color, I can just simply press Command Backspace. And you can see it that we filled it in with white. If I turn off my background layer, you can still see it's filled with white. So the same feature works for vector shape layers and also for type layers. Now, what if I only want to change a specific part of a layer? So change a specific part, and maybe instead of using foreground and background color, I want to use a different color. So let me just use the selection tool, the rectangular marquee tool, and make a selection here, half of the uh, canvas, and I have my background layer selected. And now instead of pressing Alt or Command uh, Backspace, I'm going to press Shift Backspace. So shift backspace will bring uh, a dialog box up, the field dialog box, where I can choose for, uh, from lots of different options. But what I'm looking for now is the color option. Once I select color, I can pick a color. In this case, I'm going to pick red and I click on OK and OK again. And as you can see now, I only filled in the selected part of the layer. Of course, you can also use the foreground and background fill for selection, so let me just make another selection here and I'm going to fill that in with black with my foreground color, so that was an option or old backspace. If I deselect this and I'm going to use uh, old backspace, for example, for my background or maybe use the original color, shift backspace and press enter, it will use the last uh, selected color which was red. Then I can show you another great thing that also, for type layers, we can use uh, filling in only a part of the type. So let's just say I want to change the color of the word share 
to white because that's the emphasis, uh, the emphasis on share. So I'm going to change that to white. And to do that quickly, I'm going to double click on the icon of the type layer to select the whole text. Then I double click on the word share to select only that. And then I'm going to simply use the same keyboard shortcut. In this case, I need white, so that's my background color. I can press Command or Control Backspace. And as you can see now, if I click somewhere else here, it's already filled with white. So if you have a selection, not just the whole type layer selected, then the color will be applied to that selected part of your text. That can save a lot of time as well. And at the end of this video, I just want to show you another very useful keyboard shortcut. If you want to accept typing in Photoshop, instead of pressing return, which is a line break, you should press command or control return to accept the type. And the same keyboard shortcut can be used for also something else. If you use the pen tool to create a path and you want to turn that into a selection, you can use the same keyboard shortcut, Command or Control Return, and as you can see, it quickly turns the, the path into a selection. This works even if you have a path which is not closed. If you press Command or Control uh, Return, it will close it and then turn it into a selection. So that can also save you a lot of time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned a couple of useful techniques that you can use on a daily basis. And make sure you join me next time as well because I have a lot of more great techniques to share. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.